Okay, uh, here are some of my Friday uh, pickups. Everything here and uh, that picture there, and whatever I have on the table. Uh, believe it or not, uh, what you see before you, I spent $363 on today. Um, that's a lot more than I'm used to spending on Fridays. Not that I've never spent that much before, but it was a surprise to me that I actually found that much stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do video games quick, fast, and then I'm going to do all the jewelry, and then I'll go through the stuff that I bought. Only video games I got today. A Game Boy, Nintendo. This was $3. As you can see, the back is messed up in tape. I have no clue if it works. It was $3, so who cares? Um, I went to an estate sale, and they had listed on Craigslist. I had a bunch of video games. Of course, when I went, everything good was gone, because I didn't go there early. I didn't really think I would be the front in line or anything like that. Nobody wanted the Sega Genesis games. They were $2. I got 9 He gave me a deal of uh, 15 for 9 um, because some of them are kind of beat up. Here's the games I got. Uh, Sonic 2. Uh, Sonic Spinball, Vector Man, um, X-Men, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, not for resale, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, another Sonic 2 for some reason. I actually got nine games, figuring they would go in three rows of three, and then I got a Batman Returns, uh, kind of a beat up label, and I got a Mortal Kombat. Um, I might, I was going to do like nine games sooner, I didn't realize... Uh, one of the games is the same, but I'm sure I have a, a Sonic game. I think I'm just going to put this on eBay. Uh, these aren't these games are not selling for me at the flea market. Okay, that's the games. Goodbye, game people. Now, um, before I do jewelry, this is cool. Uh, I bought a bunch of stuff from someone. They threw this in for free. Uh, this looks like a cake top, a, a cake topper. Uh, it's this one's cool because it has a spring in the back. This is probably from the 70s. All right, moving on. I don't know the value on that, but it, it's an interesting. Now I'm going to do the jewelry. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, the first thing my wife bought was this. I don't remember what she paid for it. I don't believe it was that expensive. Maybe $10. Uh, it says sterling on the top, which you can't see. It's a key. Uh, it's kind of modernist uh, art. Uh, I, I haven't looked carefully enough to see if it's signed by anyone, but it came with a silver chain. Okay. At another sale, she got uh, an assortment of jewelry. To be honest, I don't remember what she paid for any of this stuff, so I'm just going to show it. She got the scarab necklace. As you can see, that's stone, and it's set in a silver... Metal, I, I don't believe it's sterling. She got this neat little doggy. Uh, normally she gets these, they're bigger. Uh, I think I'm in the shadow, okay. She gets these bigger, but it has the, the, eye, uh, the dangling eyes. Uh, this is silver. Um, there's a problem with one of the beads. Maybe it's lapis, I don't really know. Uh, this is an old piece of sterling because it has a very unusual clasp. Uh, actually, it says Taxco. Oh, it's not that old. Okay, it, it's post 70s, but it is a Taxco piece. So. Uh, a simple repair of these two beads, and it'll be good as new. It'll be choker away. Um, she liked this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, if it's silver or anything like that, but she likes dangly stuff. Okay. Um, and another sale. We got a... Uh, okay, another sale. Again, this stuff wasn't expensive. Look at this. That's, uh, um, this stuff wasn't expensive, but here's a seashell bracelet. Kind of neat. Um... I think these were $2 a piece, and they're just ceramic. Uh, I think the lady said they were from Austria or Germany or something like that. They're uh, clip-on ceramic ear earrings, very uh, 60s, 70s. Here's another pair. Uh, I, like I said, I think they were $2 a piece. Here's another one. I don't know what they're meant to re represent, but they're kind of that shiny glaze abstract. Uh, this is a Delft uh, windmill. I don't know if it's silver. It doesn't look like silver. Okay. And then she liked, oh, uh, my daughter's name is Daisy, so she got these earrings. Uh, this is like a big, uh, what do they call these, light bulb chain uh, necklace. And, uh, kind of funky, huh? And look how big those, those links are. And then I guess she just liked these because these are kind of, uh, I guess, 80s or something. Just kind of funky. Okay. Um, here's another assortment of jewelry. Uh, this is very unusual. But it is damaged. Uh, she paid three dollars. She needs a replacement um, metal wire in the back. Uh, it's it's ceramic. It's it's like African in motif, and it kind of goes like like this. Let me see if I can do that. It's meant to look. I get the tissue out of it. It's meant to look like I'm holding it down, but it's meant to look like that. Plus, I have it backwards. Um, She's going to see if she repair, can repair it. This is the kind of stuff that we buy, and then we try and figure out what the hell is it. You know. Um, Oops. These are just funky enamel uh, earrings that are signed H. Tischler. Not familiar with that particular enamel artist. 
Um, I think this is a Trafari. And it's in pretty, it's in good condition. Ugh. It's being annoying, uh, but there, it's, it's right there. It says Trafari. That's why she told me she bought it. Okay. Then I have these three little bags. We bought this at a, another estate sale that I think that there was one estate, the first estate sale we went to, we paid like 160. This is a native uh, American Indian silver. Um, and it looks, I, I don't know if that's inlaid, but it's mother of pearl, probably coral. Yeah, it's got to be inlaid. All right. So that's that. That's why she bought that. Sterling pendant. I don't believe it was expensive. Uh, okay. She says this is probably Victorian. Uh, I don't know a lot about jewelry. I, I guess we paid 15 for it. Um, these, nothing's damaged, whatever. She likes it. It could use a cleaning. Uh, she knows better than me. Uh, the chain on this is obviously, uh, what do you call it? Green amber, and it's sterling. I don't know if the chain is sterling, but the cross is. Um, this could be Brighton. All right. And then this is that gold tone stuff she likes. Uh, okay, I can't read who it is, but it's probably somebody like Shafari or Monet or whatever. It says something on it. There it is. Just a nice gold tone link. Ooh, actually, let me put, I'll put these back in the bag they came from. Uh, unless it takes too long, then I may not do that. Let's see. All right, sorry I'm doing this. I might not do it on the next one. All right, that's there. Okay, here's another bag. We Obviously, we got these all at the same place. Okay, I know she paid 25 for this liquid silver set. Um, the reason she said she bought it, and it's I, I don't really feel like untangling and putting it out of it, um, but it's, it's a multi-strand with turquoise bead, uh, liquid silver, there's earrings, bracelet, and uh, necklaces. She paid 25 for that. This, pardon me, okay. This is Swarovski, uh, look how pretty that is. And it is swan signed to Swarovski, I guess we paid 18 for that. All right, that's two. And uh, then there's another bag at the same house that we got. This is the house actually where I bought the, uh, I think I paid 120 something for everything. She likes this. It's kind of an inlaid lacquered uh, wood mix. So let me just show it quick. Okay. Um, I guess she paid eight for it. Um, these have dragons on them, and they're, I guess, they're Chinese ceramic beads. Let me show them quick again. Uh, nice clasp. Could be gold over f silver filigree. I'm not going to really check. And this is a Brighton lipstick case, she said. Could use a little cleaning, but it looks like leather, and it's got this stupid thing. I'm going to have to carefully take this off. I hate when they stick uh, these this tape on, because if you're not careful, it'll lift off leather. Like, anybody that knows anything, don't put tape on leather. All right. So that covers the jewelry and um, and the video games. Okay. Uh, bought some sheets <laughs> and bath towels. Now I'm just going to do, uh, oh, okay, you know, I'll do a perfumes and then I'll do uh, decorative collectibles. Okay, uh, I think I paid eight for, I paid six, eight and eight for this. I've had Monogram Ralph Lauren. I'm almost positive this sells for good money. And this is a huge four ounce uh, bottle in the box. I've never had this Guy LaRoche, Fiji. Uh, I paid eight because I paid 16 for the two. No clue I'm buying it. You know, I, I'm dumb. I, I buy this stuff and then I forget. It's Aramis Aftershave. I paid $5. It's new and full. Uh, I see this all the time. If it's not worth a lot, I'll just I'll just pair it with uh, something else. The first estate sale I went to, they had a lot, a lot of nice stuff. I missed, I bought this. And this was originally priced like $8. This is, I'm almost positive this is a Cambridge and that's it's a flower frog. It was priced eight dollars. I bring it up, and the lady's like, "Oh no, that's not eight dollars." And I'm like, "Well, it it is eighty dollars. It says eight dollars on it, right?" Not that I I would I was happy to pay twenty. I didn't have a problem with that, but I didn't want her accusing me of switching price tags, which people do, just in case you ever have a yard sale. People will switch prices. Anyway, um, I'm almost positive this is Cambridge glass. Uh, it's a huge flower frog. If it is, it's probably worth a couple of hundred. Okay, and I only paid twenty anyway, so who cares? Um, this is Art Murano ICET -E Hecho in Venezuela. Okay, I'm not really happy about this purchase now because <laughs> it says it's like Murano, but they made it in uh, Venezuela. It's five bucks. I couldn't find any damage. I don't know. I'll probably sell it for 10 or 15. I thought it was Murano. I was like, wow, label Murano, great deal. Um, this is four dollars. This appears to be some kind of either resin or pottery. I bought, I don't know, let me see. 
I kind of bought this as a gift, so it doesn't matter. Um, this, I think, is Imperial Glass. It's got an I and the G, but I get it mixed up with something else. Carnival Glass, I paid 12 um, I may have trouble selling it for more because people are cheap, but it's still a really nice piece of glass. Okay, I bought this. This is an easy sell, uh, most likely to someone I know. Uh, 12 I sell it to them for like 20 bucks. I don't really care, but they like birds and parrots, so... Uh, that's why I bought that. All right. Uh, as you can see, I paid $5 for this. This might be made to represent an abstract swan bowl. And it's signed on the bottom. All right. Let's, give me one sec. All right. It's signed on the bottom. It looks like C-O-F-R-A-C. -R Art V-E-R-R-I-E-R -R -E -R France. I think it's C-O-F-R-A-C. All right. Like I said, I only paid five for it, so whatever. Um, paid three for this. This is an owl, uh, paperweight, no signature, but it, it is bubbles. Uh, it's certainly worth way more than three. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to get for it. Uh, this could be Cambridge. I'm not really sure, but this is an oldie, timey flower frog. This is probably from 20s to 40s. But uh, I am not an expert on this type of glass. Uh, I'm not actually an expert on any type of glass. Um, I don't, you know, I'm not even sure how this, I probably, I, most of the money I spent today was on jewelry and art. Um, Fiesta, uh, yellow, that comes off, it's some kind of white dirt, that's not a chip, it's like a, a spot in the glaze. I'm going to clean this up, this is probably good old Fiesta. Uh, I've never seen a bowl like this, we shall see, you know. Uh, advertising rulers, buy this for a friend. The bank of, the bank with heart, trust company bank, uh, and then another River Edge bank. Uh, it looks like the, mostly the same bank. Rickle. I have a friend that likes these. I just buy them and give them to them. They only charge me $4 for all of those. Okay, here's something I don't normally buy. Tennis rackets. But I went to a friend's house for dinner, and they said, yeah, I'm buying tennis rackets, and we're decorating with them. We're hanging them on the wall. I'm like, oh, really? Okay, that's good to know. Uh, never heard of this. This is an international sports shop. It's got Radio City... How what? And it's very Art Deco-y in design. So it's probably 40s, I guess, right? This one's obviously from the 70s. Look at that guy with that mustache and the hair. Uh, Marty Ryson. I, the reason that I bought these was I looked them up. And this one should be worth, like, and this is Dunlop. Uh, advisory staff model. Hmm. Uh, I've never had these before. This one should be worth, like, 30 to 50 and that's the one I looked up. That's why I bought the rest. Uh, the guy was like, what What do you give me? I'm like, I never had these before, before I checked any prices. So I said, I'll go like 10 bucks. Figuring I could get at least five a piece. Um, Hopwards Tennis Shop, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Uh, laminated. Uh, this is a Davis. That's the design. It looks like it says Davis DuPont. No, High Point, maybe. Something Point. Whatever. It's probably High Point. And then this one has the... The uh, stretcher, the wood stretcher on it, don't know if that increases value or whatever. I, I imagine it does. Professional model sport flight fiber wel wel welded throat. And this is a precision built 4 5 eighths medium sport light. Okay. Again, hopefully they're worth at least 10 bucks a piece. Um, I bought some art today. I like art. The first thing I bought art-wise was uh, this. This is an embroidery. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's just lovely. You know, a nice little bouquet of flowers. I paid $10 for it. All right. Um, oh, you know what? Let me do these little enamels. I like enamel paintings. And uh, I, I'm, or, I'm already at the point where I recognize some of the artists that do them. So for $5 a piece, I got this stack of enamel paintings. Uh, these are all signed L-U-C-E-Y, Luce, I guess, or Luce, Lucy. That's probably Luce. And I know this artist, the first name is Jean. I can put these on eBay for maybe 50 bucks a piece. Uh, this one I'm not familiar with. It's probably Gordon or Garden. But all the Lucy ones, I know what, they, the, what these should be selling for. This, again, there's a girl on a beach. There's a, a boy fishing. Another Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Uh, a woman in the woods. This is that other artist. Maybe it's Carlson. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Or maybe it's Garden. Or I don't know. I'll figure that out. I know, what the, I know who these ones are. Lucy again. A, a woman in the woods. And another woman in the woods. Uh, Lucy. 
Um, like I said, I only paid five bucks a piece. That was the first sale I went to, and I was scooping them up. This was actually a good sale where the, I was talking to this guy at the yard sale, and what happens is you go to these sales, and the stuff that everybody knows, they price high. The stuff they think they want, they price high. The stuff that they can easily check prices on, on the Internet, they price high. The other stuff they don't know, so they don't, they just like, yeah, they put up any price. Like $12 for this. This is another enamel, same artist, G-E-A-N. I know the first name. I'm almost positive it's G-E-A-N. and make that J-E-A-N. And Lucy, uh, L-U-C-E-Y. A winter scene. You know, if I put this on eBay, I'm going to put a couple hundred on it. And I'll let it sit. Don't care if it sells. Okay, this must be the same artist as that one. This, it looks like Cardin, C-A-R-D-I-N. I'm not familiar with this artist. This is an artist proof. I paid 15 for it. Um, if I can figure out who the artist is, I'll get more. Check this out. They're the same thing. That's the artist proof. Apparently, they can do, uh, he did a run of 476 out of 500. I didn't know they did that with enamels. I thought they did one, and, and that was it. But apparently, they do a lot. And uh, look at the tree. Uh, I mean, they're different. I actually, the artist proof to me looks brighter in color. Um, okay, that's mostly it. The last thing I got is going to be this painting. Again, I spent a lot of money today. For me, it's very unusual to spend this much on Fridays. It might mean I'm going to spend a shitload of money, or a lot of money, I say, on, um, on uh, tomorrow, Saturday. And then Sunday I do the flea market. We're doing one in Kierfot this weekend, in case you want to know. Uh, anyway, this is the last thing I got, this painting. I bought, I looked at a different paint. I looked at three, okay, I go to the yard sale. There were three paintings by this artist, right? Uh, I didn't like the first one. They had 20 on it. It was very small. It was some people fishing off a bridge. I didn't like it. Um, and then she showed me another one, which was unfinished. Didn't like it. But I like this stuff. And this one, the artist is actually someone named Sh Shirley, S-H-I-R-L-E-Y, P-L-U-T, Schaefer, S-C-H-A-E-F-E-R. Uh, this is actually... Uh, Okay, she's, she's listed. She's an uh, actual professional painter. She was out of California. I think she spent some time in New Jersey. I took a photo. They had all kinds of information. The thing that, the one, the painting I didn't like, she, she won, I'm, like, I spent too much money today. I just didn't have enough money to buy it. I, otherwise, I would have just said, ah, I'll just buy it. I, I would have had to go to the bank. And to be honest, I didn't like it enough. I didn't care. I didn't know who the artist was at the time. Anyway, uh, this one's Cathedral. She named it Cathedral Something Stop. R-C-H, rest stop, maybe. Weird. Cathedral, cathedral road stop, maybe? I don't know. She has a weird way, way of writing, handwriting. I liked it because it's kind of uh, almost cubist. And uh, I don't know. This could be worth good money. You know, it all depends on what the artist sells for. I mean, just because an artist is listed sometimes, it doesn't mean they sell for a lot of money. But I liked it. Um, if I can't sell it, I'll just stick it on my wall. Here, what would she say? Yeah, see, Cathedral Arches, she wrote there, and then Shirley played with it. Anyway, that's everything I got today. I'm pretty happy with what I got, everything I bought. When it sells, I'll make good money. No guarantee that I'll be selling anything uh, quickly. But when it sells, I'll make good money. And, uh, you know, I'm in it for the long run, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, hopefully I'll get a bunch of good stuff tomorrow. Uh, we shall see.